English Unveiled, Decoding the Near. Hello, English learners. Today, we're delving into an important concept in English, the preposition near. This little word plays a huge role in describing close proximity. So, if you want to navigate your way around an English-speaking city, or explain to a friend where you live, understanding and using near is key. Let's get started. Near is a preposition used to show that something is close to something else in terms of distance. It indicates that one object, place, or person is not far away from another. For example, the coffee shop is near the library. This sentence suggests that the distance between the coffee shop and the library is short. Now, let's explore some practical applications of near in different sentences. 1. Locational use. My house is near the park. Here, near is used to describe the close proximity of the house to the park. 2. Temporal use. While near is mostly used for places, it can also describe time. For example, near the end of the movie, I started to cry. This refers to a time period close to the end of the movie. 3. Comparative use. Near can also compare similarities between two things. For instance, your writing is near perfection. This implies that your writing is very close to being perfect. There are some common mistakes that learners make while using near. Let's discuss a few of them and learn how to correct them. 1. Avoid doubling up prepositions. For example, saying, the restaurant is located near to the mall, is incorrect. The correct sentence is, the restaurant is located near the mall. 2. Near doesn't imply inside. Saying, I'm near the restaurant, doesn't mean you're inside the restaurant. You're somewhere close by. Let's put our learning to test with a short exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate usage of near. 1. The supermarket is blank the train station. 2. My birthday is blank the end of June. 3. His skill level is blank mastery. Post your answers in the comments below and we'll review them together in our next video. And that brings us to the end of our near exploration. I hope you now feel more comfortable using this little yet mighty preposition in your English conversations. Remember, language learning is all about practice. So keep using near in your sentences. Stay tuned for our next lesson. And until then, keep learning and growing.